that's why every child of God you are going to live by faith praise the name of God tell your neighbor I survived the last storm not because I had a God father not because I had good people on my side not because I had a helper but I survived the last storm because I have faith and if I have faith I am a child of God and if I'm a child of God God is going to watch over my life and if he watches over my life I don't care how many witches are against me if he is going to watch over my life I don't care even when I go through the valley of the dry bones I go through the darker places he is going to lead me and guide me I wish I can talk about faith just a little bit there are people in this place the truth is it is the faith that has brought you to where you are I've seen faith pay bills for people I've seen faith lift people in planes and fly to America they never had anybody they only had God on themselves they had God on their side and some of you who are sitting here don't allow the enemy to preach to you another gospel you are too powerful too anointed too blessed to get to that place you have ever desired it was only going to take some time Someone say sometime. <laughs> say sometimes. I've seen faith heal people who had no money for the doctor. I've seen faith deliver people. You had a situation in your life. And when you walked in the presence of God and the preacher man was standing before you. Praise the name of God. The preacher man preached the word of God. And the moment your faith was impacted, you walked out of the church and you checked your body and the sickness was no more you checked your body and you are already delivered you went home and the witch was already dead I just saw my brother saying and declaring here no witch is going to stand before you no sorcerer is going to stand before you no Jezebel is going to stand before you not because I have money in my pocket I have faith praise the name of God can I talk to people who have faith in this place I don't want to talk to people who are feeling bad about what you don't have but I need somebody who can praise God for the faith because the gift of faith when you have faith you become a world changer when you have faith you have hope for tomorrow for faith is a substance of things that hoped for praise the name of God things hoped for I've been hoping my tomorrow will be great I've been hoping I'm a spell breaker I've been hoping I will be the one to change my nation I've been hoping I will be the one to bring the change in my family if you know you have faith I want you to give God some praise is here because you have faith uh, those who did not those who just clapped their hands uh, God is opening more doors for you uh, I say those who clap their hands uh, God is creating more opportunities for you uh, those who are clapping their hands uh, God is bringing more good news on your way uh, those who are clapping their hands uh, God is bringing deliverance over your family <laughs> I'm not just talking about any faith uh, I'm talking about the right Radical faith, radical faith. Even when I don't have money, I still look the devil in the face and I decree, declare I'm anointed child of God. Mm, not faith that heals from malaria, heals from leukemia. Healing is your portion as a child of God. For the Bible says, they who believe, these signs and wonders shall follow them. And that's why I don't do crazy things in the church. Can I talk to you now? When you are a child of God, you don't need a miracle. When you have God, you have a God who works the miracle. I say when you are a child of God, you don't need a sign and a wonder. Because if you have God, yourself, you are a sign and a wonder. Can 
I talk to you right now? Miracles are for the non-believers. Because the moment churches changed and turned away from God. And they became the marketing plans of the miracles and not God the Father. People turned away from God. And they began to bow down to men. Worshipping men and not worshipping God. And that's why the heavens were shut. But I give God glory in this house. For when I look around. I'm not seeing somebody who is ready for the next miracle. But I'm seeing people are saying this. I am a child of God. And what I need in my life. I need God the Father. God the Son and God the Holy Spirit. Praise the name of God. So the Bible. Is not timid in exposing the dysfunctions in the first family. First family was crazy. Some of you think when you are coming from the family, if you are pastor, your father was a pastor, the devil is not going to attack you. Praise God. I know your mom was, uh, was the leader of the assembly. And she used to put on a white dress and put on a good turban here. And every Sunday she was so holy. And you thought because your mama was a leader in the church, the devil was not going to attack you wrong. The devil will still attack you because it's until you have your own encounter with God that you can say, I've seen God in my life. When the Samaritan woman had an encounter with Jesus, she ran in the village shouting, come and see a man. May somebody receive the anointing in this place because the next thing that is about to happen, you are about to go back in your village shouting I've seen a man I've seen a man who is more than all the men in the world because many try to think that if you are born in church your family was a church your mother, your father your grandmother you ain't going to have any problem lie, the more there are destinies in your life the more the attacks and there is nothing as painful, someone say nothing as painful to see the brothers fight let me tell you you know when you come in Nairobi and a stranger is fighting you you don't feel the pain I say when the neighbor is fighting you don't feel the pain because you can go home back to your brothers and sisters and when you have the fellowship you feel the happiness of God but what do I do when my own family is rising against me attacking me and fighting Fighting me. Someone say pain. Someone say pain. The people you help more, the people you mentored, the people you sponsored persecute you the most. And God asking, why has your countenance fallen? If thou do good, can't I bless you? Praise the name of God. Every child of God has his or her own portion of blessing in the kingdom of God. Because if you see God bless him, God can bless you. If God can bless her, God can bless you. So you don't need to be jealousy of anybody's blessing. But the best thing you need to do, you need to lift up your hands and tell God, God, if I be in your presence and you can bless him, you can bless her, you can bless them. And now I know I'm the next person on the line of the blessing. Someone say the line of the blessing. For God is a respecter of nobody. He only respects the principles. You ought to come out of your flesh. You need to come out of your own thinking, your own understanding and go deeper in the things of God. Praise the name of God. Stop making God complicated. God is too simple. If only you can obey his word. He says, if thou love me, keep my commandments. Then ask anything you need in my name and it shall be given unto you. I want to prophesy right now to every child of God who is a keeper of the word of God. If you are 
going to ask anything in the name of God not in the name of your brother not in the name of your rich uncle not in the name of your sponsor but in the name of God praise the name of God God is going to command the heavens oh you didn't know you didn't know if you give God what